Hey, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching Channel Hot Monkey, and I'm back. So after my review on the Windows 10 Game DVR screen recording system, a lot of you guys and gals had one particular question for me, and that is, what certain screen recording software do I use to record my tutorials? Well, obviously, I really don't use the Game DVR system built into Windows 10 because First off, it can't even record your mouse cursor, and it can only record one window at a time, and that is when and if you can get it to function properly. The program that I use is another free Microsoft screen recorder called Expressions Encoder Screen Recorder. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can download the free version, install it, and use it to record HD tutorials on your PC, or whatever the hell it is that you're doing on your desktop in any case. So stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, we need to download Microsoft Expressions Encoder and we're going to do it by downloading it from the official Microsoft website. The link is going to be down in the description for you guys so that you can safely download it without any worries of viruses or any malicious programs. So once you open this link, you're going to scroll a bit down once you see this big red download button and you're simply going to click on download and it's a 24.5 megabyte file so it's probably gonna download relatively quickly okay so once the download is complete you're gonna remember the location where you save the installation file in my case it's on my desktop there it is so I'm gonna double click on it in Windows 10 we're gonna need to give it certain permissions so we're gonna click yes and basically what you're gonna do is copy everything you see me doing in this tutorial and you should have a successful installation. So right here we're going to accept the terms of use. Right here we're going to check no and then we're going to click on next. It's going to ask you to choose the programs you want to install. Leave a check mark in the box next to expressions encoder 4. In the options section we're going to leave everything the way it is and we're going to simply click on install. Okay, so I speeded up this part so you didn't have to watch it. It should take you a bit less than one minute for the installation to complete. And then finally, you're simply going to click on finish. With that, the installation is completed. Now if I go and click on my start menu, I'm going to click on all programs and I'm going to scroll down, find the M's, and right here I have a new entry called Microsoft Expression. I'm going to click on that to expand and with this installation we get two basic programs one is the screen capture program that we need in order to record our tutorials and screen activities and the other program is the expression encoder software which we're going to use to encode the raw video format to something that's usable in video editors like Windows Movie Maker VideoPad, Wondershare, Adobe Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, or whatever. So the application that we're interested in right now for the moment is the screen recorder. It should be the last entry. If we hover over it, you're going to see that it says Microsoft Expression Encoder 4 Screen Capture. So we're going to click on that. And it should open a very simple user interface that looks something like this. Now before we do anything, we're going to go and take a look at the settings for this program. So to do that, you're going to click on this little gear icon right here, and it should open another window. Now the first tab is the screen tab. So what I usually do here is for the frame rate, I go for 30 or above frames per second. If you want to record in 30 frames per second, it's probably the minimum if you want really high quality videos. If you're able to capture in 60 frames per second, why not? Go for that. But I'm going to leave it at 30 frames per second. For the bitrate, I usually go the highest possible. Down here, the quality, we're going to set it to maximum. So it goes from 1 to 100. By default, it's set to 95, but we're going to type in 100. And of course, if you're recording tutorials like I am right now, you always want to capture your mouse pointer, so make sure that this box right here is checked. Now if we go on to the camera tab, this is a section where you would enter certain settings if you want to record a webcam overlay. 
So if you want to do that, then you would simply click on this little arrow right here and you would use the camera that is plugged in or that is built into your system. And then of course on the left hand side, you would be able to enter certain settings in order to get a certain quality that you prefer. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're only going to be concentrated on recording screen activities. So moving on to the audio tab, this is where we set our audio settings. If you want to use a microphone, then of course you're going to check the devices that you have plugged into your system. So I'm going to use my microphone when I record my tutorials, so I'm going to put a check mark right here. Down here you have a format. I always go with the highest settings. And for the bitrate, I always use the highest level that is at my disposal. So that is 256. Moving on to the hotkey tab, right here you have the option to set hotkeys for the start of your recording, for pausing your recording, for stopping your recording, and finally also for zooming in. But I really doubt you'll be using this option as this program doesn't really have advanced zooming capabilities. On the other tab we have some additional settings that you can mess around for yourself. It gives you certain additional options like to highlight your mouse pointer, to show a countdown before you start recording so that you can maybe prepare yourself better for the beginning. Of course you have other options like beep on start, pause, you can show the recording toolbar, show flashing boundaries, and of course you can use a webcam capture as a overlay. So this is something right here that's not really crucial for the quality of the recording, but there are some additional options here that might be useful for you, so go through these options and see which ones you need, which ones you like, or which ones you just want to skip. The last tab is the help tab. It gives you certain links to privacy statements, help, and it gives you information about this program if you click on the links. We're going to skip this. Once you're done with the settings, you want to click on OK. And then before you start recording, you have some quick settings right here on the main display of the user interface. For example, you have a little microphone icon right here that you can use to quickly toggle on and off your microphone. So if I click on it right now, it's not red. That means that my microphone won't be in use. If I click on it again, it's highlighted in red, which means that my microphone will be in use. And right here, right to its right, you can see I have a little volume indicator that indicates the volume of the input that is going into my microphone. Moving on to the right, we have another button for toggling the camera on and off in a quick fashion. So if I click right here, then I will see a preview of my camera recording. And if I click again, then it's going to be turned off. The settings is something that we finished earlier. Right here, we have a capture manager, which will open a list of captures that you recently made. We're going to turn that off for now. The button that we're going to be concentrated right now is this little red dot right here, which is the button you're going to use to start your recording. So if you've forgotten your hotkeys, you can always click on this button. And then you're going to see this whole huge rectangle that you can adjust to your preferences. Now if you take a look down here on the bottom right, you can see this little toolbar here that allows me to set which part of my screen I want to record before I actually initiate the recording process. So you can mess around with this, you can select a certain part of your screen or you can go full screen. Once you're happy with the region that is selected, you can simply click on the red button right here to record. Now it might or might not give you this little window right here, but I'm going to click on OK. In any case, of course you can see the countdown, you heard the beep. And that means that the recording process is initiated. Now, of course, you can set your hotkeys for starting and stopping of the recording. I didn't really mess around with that. I didn't remember any of the hotkeys, but that doesn't matter because you can always go down to your system tray area, click right here, and then you can simply click on the little icon that represents Microsoft Expressions Encoder screen capture. And then right here, you have the option to pause, stop, show the recording toolbar or exit the program. Of course, I'm going to stop. Once I do that, the whole user interface is going to be prominently displayed once again. And this time, you're going to get a box that shows all your recordings. The latest recording that you made is going to be prominently displayed on top. Now, what Microsoft Expressions Encoder Screen Recorder does when it captures video is it records it in a raw format. 
And the best way to encode that format into something that's usable in mainstream video editors is to simply use the inbuilt expressions encoder that we downloaded earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the latest capture that we created and we're going to click on send to encoder. Now this is going to open up the Microsoft Expressions encoding software which you can use for some basic video manipulation and of course in the end you're going to use it to encode the video. So for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to trim the video. I'm going to show you how you can add overlays and then I'm going to show you how to enter the settings you need in order for your footage to be in full HD. So in order to trim what you need to do is grab this little indicator and bring it to a position where you want and then in order to cut you're going to click on this little button right here. That should split the timeline right where your indicator was and then the part that you don't want you simply highlight it right click and say remove clip. If for example you have something in the middle let's say you coughed a bit and you want to cut that out so what you would do is find that moment you would put a cut right before it began and you would put a cut right after it ended. Then you would simply select that part where you coughed right click remove and voila. Now you can actually use this little program in order to add overlays to your video. Now we're not going to waste time showing you that as I already have two videos explaining how you can add overlays using this program and how you can add multiple overlays using this program. So if you want to learn how to do that click on the links that will be displayed on screen. Finally once you're finished you want to save your video using settings that will guarantee Full HD. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on encoding quality, you're going to click on best quality and then you're going to click on apply. If you're not happy with your volume you can go down here and adjust it also. So if you want it to be a bit louder you can simply adjust the volume right here until you're happy with it. Also I would always recommend making sure that this box right here next to volume leveling is unchecked because if this box is checked then you're going to have catastrophical audio quality. Trust me it happened to me already one time and it was too late so make sure this is unchecked at all times. Once you're finished you simply want to go down here, select your video and then click on encode. Okay, so once the encoding is complete, you want to find your final video by going to your documents. Then you're going to see a folder called expressions. You're going to open that. You're going to open expression encoder. You're going to open output. And then you're going to have a list of folders right here containing the videos that you've encoded. So you can find them by date. So right here by looking at the dates I can see that the last one is the video that I just recorded and encoded. If I double click on it I can see that I have my video which is saved as a .wmv file. And that's how you record HD videos using Microsoft Expressions Encoder Screen Recorder. Now for the end of this video I want to mention a few things. First off I'm anticipating that a lot of people are going to be asking me which program that I use to record this tutorial. Not that it matters at all for this tutorial but for your information for the purposes of this tutorial I used OBS to record. Now the other two things that I want to make clear is that number one the free version of this program which you've downloaded if you use the link that I provided in the description allows you to record only for 10 minutes at a time. And the second thing that I want to mention is that some of you might experience certain problems while starting recording. The thing is that Microsoft Expressions Encoder Screen Recorder has problems with certain screen resolutions. So if you can't start the recording at all, then you might want to try one of two things. Either experiment with your monitor resolution or experiment by changing the dimensions of the region that you're capturing. And one of those two should work for you. It might be a bit of a pain in the ass if you do experience this problem, but it's nothing that can't be solved. Anyways, you guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I really do hope it was helpful. 
I haven't been around for a while and want to thank all of you guys for sticking around. If you did find the video helpful, please leave a like and share the video with your friends. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more videos in the future and I will definitely do my best to make it up to you. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Stay strong.